I actually want to see if I can get permission to vlog majority of um, today, like even going into the operating theatre too, so fingers crossed we'll see. And I am now off to the private hospital and then next door we have the Royal. Um, Alexander actually has an appointment at the Royal at the same time that I need to be admitted. So Steve will be taking Alex in there and I'll be lucky enough to be sitting in the waiting room for hours and hours. Hopefully this time I don't actually have to wait till 10 o'clock tonight to be done because I am starving. I almost passed out this morning getting out of bed. It was that bad. Do you like my nice scratch Alex gave me yesterday? We had a birthday party for him and he got a bit excited and he scratched me down my face. So thanks Alex. Let's go! I have to go by myself. I don't want to. Can you come with me please? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I was hoping at least you'd get to come with me. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh man, you're kidding me. There's a cross code, I'm going there. Steve's going. So really, up until then, nothing changed. Yep. And after that, it's nothing changed. Like so you've been in your wheelchair and you had your children. Uh, yeah. 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 So I was born with spina bifida. Okay. Um, and yeah, had my daughter in two thousand and eight. Um, and just had a son last year. So oh, he's just nice. turning one in like two days. So hopefully I'll be out of here by then. Well, yeah. fingers crossed. Yay! And it's a daddy you're back. Look at your hair. Oh, yeah. Yep, 1042. So I was downstairs for half an hour. Yeah. Time to do some paperwork. Say hello. No, 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 I just wanted to know what the waiter I said that I was. No, I don't think we. Okay. I can't let you do it on that. Anywhere, just a discreet. Um, you can do it on that table. I could do it on the. Just, I'll give you my jacket. Here you go. All right. Yeah. I can give you a sheet. No, it's all right. We're just doing. Sure? Yeah. Just like, a discreet place. He's just done it. He's just okay. done something. He's snappy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, I don't think we wrote anything down. Okay. I thought we had like we a specific yeah number. Yeah, we we're guessing like yeah. seventy. I think that's seventy-five. Okay. Cool. Because I actually woke up in recovery, and that's the first time in like ten years I've woken up in recovery. So we must have been pretty spot on. Because normally I like sleep wake like up in, in. No, I no never. 
Hopefully not. No, normally I wake up like once I'm back in the room and like that's like an hour's past and I've been yeah. down recovery and I don't remember recovery. And I laughed when I woke up in, um, yeah, I kind of laughed when I woke up in recovery last time and I'm like, what have we said, like whether it was 75 kilos or 72 kilos or something, it was like spot on. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't. Yeah, we were guessing. So... Yeah, so whatever they did last time. Did you tell Jenny? No, I didn't. Jenny, yeah, I will I'll tell her when again. yeah, I'll tell her when I go down. Give me the exact amount because what you yeah. Had last time. Yeah. Because yeah. it was just perfect. <laughs> it just worked. There you go. Alright. Oh, let's go. So it's actually gonna be a short one because I'm allowed to go home. Yay! It. I think it's like half past four now, yeah. Um, yeah, I was put in at two o'clock. Surgery started at two, and then I woke up in recovery about four. They've just brought me back up to my room, and then my mum's gonna come pick me up at like six, and then I get to go home, so that'd be nice. So. Hayley's going to be surprised and Alex too. It'll be funny. Because I told them both that, well, obviously Alex doesn't understand, but I told them that I was going to be, Hayley, I was going to not see her till tomorrow night, so. I'm so glad. I've just got my, the rest of my tiny bit of bag left of fluids. And then I've got to have an x-ray. Hang on, let me have a look. Um, CT scan. End of August. And then I'm done. Go home and some antibiotics. Pills. I hope I'm not led to these ones. Because the last ones you gave me I'm not led to. My throat hurts. It'll be nice to go home to my own bed. And my kids and my husband. And I find that I actually recover easier and quicker at home when you've got the comforts at home. So I'm just waiting for the nurse. She's just left, but she's coming back, I think. And I'll talk to her about going home. And yay! I'm excited because normally when I have these operations actually normally it's only a day surgery so I do go home that day I go home after like four hours but the last couple I've had done yeah I, I've ended up staying like between a night up to two weeks because I'm so sick afterwards but I was determined today not to be and to go home and find out how everything else went with Alex and his scans and stuff. Hopefully he's okay. I'm not sure Steve didn't mention when I get my um, when we get the results for that so I'll find out tonight and I might vlog when he lets me know but yeah apparently he cried and wouldn't really sit still so which meant that Steve had to pin him down because he had an ultrasound on his head because he's um, it's still open whatever it's called um, they that makes it easier to scan like his brain and his head to see if there's anything wrong stuck like with the ventricles and stuff for a reason why his head is bigger than other babies but my husband's got a big head from my family so I've got a big head and my daughter's got a big head she no one ever said anything really about her big head they weren't worried but this one particular doctor that he sees paediatrics, um, she seems to be a bit worried about it. So I've got a roommate that's talking really loudly.
Um, so it's just safe to say that it's such a shame I'm coming home because the dinner looked so lovely, like it was like big struggle off and plaster or something. Like that. Yeah. And then like ice cream and like fruit for dessert or sandwiches for dessert or something like. Yeah. This is here. Dinner just arrived and yummy. I'm home. Hey. So mum's just dropped me off. I'm still sitting in the car. Um, but she doesn't have a slide board. Like I have a wooden board that I slide from like the car to my chair and chair to the car to get in. And mum didn't put hers in the car because she didn't know until four o'clock this afternoon that she was picking me up from hospital. So we've had to run inside and get Steve to lift me out the car. Yay, mummy's home! Where's the baby? Who's that? Oh, you want the camera? Okay, everybody, you've got to give you kisses! There you go, kisses! Kisses! Did he? There we go, thank you, Ka. You go, Dad, didn't have a bath? <laughs> in a bath! Oh, 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 boy. What are you doing in my sink? Huh? He's actually kneeling. <laughs> yeah, I know he is. Ah. He wants to give it. He, he wants really wants to the job. Yeah, no, he does. No, there's no junk. He can't see any junk. It's good. She's splashy. Splash, splash, splash. I don't know. Splash, splash, splash. Daddy, 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 so as you guys know I came home last night um, and totally forgot to end the vlog so I just wanted to come on um, so it's Tuesday now and hopefully the vlog will be up tonight um, Steve's just gone and taken Haley to the bus stop taken Alex with him and um, the lady that comes to help me with like housework and cooking and stuff while Steve's at work normally um, is coming this morning and I didn't tell her I was coming home and she should be here in a minute or two and Steve left the front door open with the sign to say come in just start doing work and we left a note for her to say come and do Hayley's room first to make the bed and I'm hiding in Hayley's room and I'll scare her because she doesn't know I'm home. Because normally we can just cancel and say, if I'm not home and Steve's just home, we don't need her. So if I was at the hospital this morning, we would normally cancel. But I thought we'll leave it and I'll just pretend that I've got to cancel. Which I do do sometimes. Hopefully she'll be here in a minute. She usually comes at 8 and I think it's just about 8 now so. I think I just heard her car. Kate's just turned up and Steve told her that I really wanted to come home. Surprise, I'm home. <laughs>